Hello and welcome to running a Python program on Windows Vista. This uh, assumes that you've got Python installed and JEdit installed and you should check my podcast for how to install it, uh, particularly because the Python install requires that you get the path right, otherwise all the command window stuff I'll show you uh, won't work. You'll see command not found. But, assuming you have it all installed, this is a quick review on how to kind of do Python with some assignments. So I'll say start all programs, and I'm going to run JEdit42 and JEdit. Now I'm going to actually get rid of this little docking thing so you can see stuff a little better. So I'm going to undock this, and, um, and I'm going to make the font a little... I think the font's already big. Okay, so I'm going to write my first program. Print first program. Hello, this is awesome. And I'm going to say File, Save As, and I'm going to click on my Home icon. And in my, so this gets me to, you know, C colon user CSEV. I want to go to my desktop. Then within my desktop, I want to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder SI100, as if that was the name of the class that I was taking. And then I'm going to create another folder, one for each assignment, inside of SI100. So I'll say, I go in into SI100, I'm going to make another folder. I'm going to call this one Assignment01. And then I'm going to go into that folder, and I'm going to call this thing first.py. And so now I can see uh, SI100. And in that, I have Assignment1. And in that, I have first.py. Let me make this window a little smaller. So there I go. Now, it knows that this is a Python program because the suffix is py. It, I, I, I don't quite, I wish it wouldn't do this, but it hides the suffix and tells you it's a Python program with that little icon. Now, double-clicking on it actually runs the program, but it runs it so fast that you can't even see what happens. So this is why we use the command line. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's no no real easy way to cause this to run the program and then stop, for example. Um, too bad. They should probably fix that in Python, and then things would be a lot simpler, because then you just run your program by clicking on it. But we're going to use the command prompt, and you say CMD, and enter, and here you go. And it shows you where you're at. You are in your home directory, which is not the desktop. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the desktop, and let me do that in slow motion. Well, no, that's okay. So you can also speed things up. I can say dir to see what files I have. And if I know the name of a file, I can say cd s and then hit tab. And it knows that that's unique. And so it fills it up with SI100. So now I'm in SI100. And I can say dir, there's assignment 1. And there I am in assignment 1. I type dir. And I've got first.py right here, the first Python program. And I say, dear Python, Please run and read first.py. I type fi tab and there it is. And there's my first program. Now this is the part where if you don't have it installed properly, Python will blow up and you've got to go to my other podcast. But for now, there you go. you got first.py. Okay? So we're done with our first assignment. That's terrific. So now let's do our second assignment. So I'll do this with a new, new, new program. And I'm going to say print second assignment. I can't believe there's no keyboard that can keep up with me. I mean, I'm that awesome of a typer that I, I mean, I type perfectly, but the keyboards just are, are dysfunctional. Or they just don't function well. So, um, now I'm going to save this file. I'm going to say save as, and I'm going to go up to my SI100 directory, and then I'm going to create a new directory under that called ASSN02, or assignment 02, then I'm going to go into that I'm going to name this program second.py. Okay, and so if I go over here and I go up, well, I'll just close this. If I go into SI100, I now have assignment 1 and assignment 2. If I go into assignment 2, there's that second one. I can do the same thing here by, there's two ways I can do this. I can say, if I know where I'm at and I want to go up one, I just say cd dot dot. So you'll notice that I went from assignment 1 back up to SI100. I do a dir, and lo and behold, there's assignment 2. So I say cd, as, send, 
2. And there is the second program right there. I type dir, and there's the second program. And I can run it, python second.py. And there we are. So let's say my second assignment has to read a file. A key thing is you've got to get everything in the same directory. You may have to download a file from the web, but I'm just going to write up a little text file here. And I'm going to say this is a tiny little text file with three lines in it. Again, bad keyboard, bad keyboard. So this you'd save from the net, or you might get it from somewhere. But the key thing is getting it in the same directory. I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to call this thing um, mydata.txt. Okay, so if I look here, I see I have my data and second. Now, again, it's obscuring the suffixes, and it's like, you knuckleheads. But it's obscuring these suffixes, mydata.txt. If you look in here, in the command line, it doesn't obscure them. So mydata has a suffix of .txt, and second has a suffix of python.py. So let's go back to our program. I'll switch back to second.py, and I'm going to... Uh, open this mydata.txt got to use the real file name with the suffix there so I'm going to open that for read mydata.txt now the key is it's got to be in the same directory as the program and then I'm just going to say um, how many figure out how many characters in it by typing the len of file handle dot read and that will print out the number of characters and I will save that and so now I can type, oh, here's a trick. I'm going to hit up arrow, oops, up arrow, and just find a command in my previous set of commands here, up arrow python second.py, and I'll run it, and it reads it, and it goes through the file and finds that the file has 57 characters in it, okay? And so uh, that is um, basically uh, the assignment. Um, if you get lost and you're sort of, lost and you don't know how to do cd dot dot and you don't want to do cd dot dot the easiest way to get back to a known place is just close this command window and run another command window and that puts you back in your main directory and of course you gotta to go to desktop then you've got the folder on the desktop called si100 that'll be cd si100 and then there's two assignments in there cd assignment 02 so the Got that wrong. Wow. Now I got it right. And there's assignment two. So basically that's 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 doing this and, and, and please don't use spaces in your file names because a lot of things get a lot more complex at that point. Um, keep your file names generally lowercase. Um, that's kind of how we programmers do it. And uh, and understand that you know, when you look at something in a finder window, you don't always see the uh, don't always see the suffixes. Okay, okay, take her easy.